What's up everyone? Ryan and Bomb here. What's up everyone? Ryan DeBaum here. And in this video, I'm going to review a TV show that I've been wanting to do since five or even six years ago. I'm going to review a sketch comedy TV show called The Whitest Kids You Know. Now some of you have probably heard this show and some of you haven't. This show ran for five seasons on Fuse and IFC. The first season on Fuse and seasons two to five on IFC respectively. Now guys, let me tell you, the reason why I'm making this review is because this show is a classic. An underrated classic. Like, I feel like everyone should be watching this show because this show is amazing. Like, it is, it is so funny. The jokes are amazing. Like, I feel like almost every single person should watch this. Like, it is funny in almost every single level. And another reason why I want to make this video is because, as of this recording, we are less than three weeks away from the 15th anniversary of this show, which is on March 20th. And I thought this would be a perfect time to make a video like this. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First, let's start with the history of how The Whitest Kids You Know came to be. The Whitest Kids You Know began in 1999 when Trevor Moore transferred to the New York School of Visual Arts Film Program. After making some rounds at numerous local New York City comedy clubs, he met up with fellow students Sam Brown and Zach Kreger. The troupe started an official club at the School of Visual Arts. They later met up with Timmy Williams, who did not attend School of Visual Arts in late 2001. And in 2003, they met Darren Trumeter. Also in 2003, the reinvented troupe started going around to comedy clubs all over New York City, and they started doing live skits all over town. Eventually, the idea for the comedy sketch show got picked up by Fuse Network in early 2006. Later that same year, the first season started production, and the rest is history. Now, some of you are wondering, well, what kind of jokes did it do? What is this show about? Well, let's go find out. So, like I said, the show ran for five seasons, and they did all kinds of jokes. They would make jokes about history. They'll joke about drugs. They'll have sex references. They would make sketches about bodily fluids. They would also make sketches based on some of our former presidents, like JFK or Abraham Lincoln. They would also take things that we do in our own daily lives and they'll either over-exaggerate it or just make it as ridiculous as possible. They have even made sketches about famous movie franchises like, for example, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. You know, I would say some of these sketches these guys made have aged really well, even to this day. You won't be able to do these sketches on TV nowadays. Like, there's Osama Bin Laden having his own TV show. There's his dad who takes his kid to get fixed in a mechanic. There is a band that names themselves Our Labels Run by Homos. And those are just a few examples of what the jokes are like in the show. You know, when I was a kid, when this show came out, I've never heard of this show. Although I do remember seeing a picture of some guy dressed up as a grape, but that's all I remember. My first time experiencing this show was back in high school. When one of my friends showed me this video called The Grapist, and... Oh, man. 
I was laughing so hard. I mean, seriously, this is one of the funniest things that I've ever seen. I mean, it's a little offensive, but oh man, it was so funny. I was laughing so hard and so loudly. Like, it was just over the top ridiculous. And ever since then, I've just been, you know, I've been looking for these sketches. I didn't even know this is a TV show, but then I found out it is. And there's a bunch of these sketches on YouTube. And I've just been looking them up and I've just been watching them. Like, I've, I've been watching a bunch of them. And, oh man, I was like, I instantly fell in love with this show. When season 5 was announced, it was announced as the final season of the show. Not only was it the final season at the time, but it was also going to include a feature-length film within the season called The Civil War on Drugs. Now, I'm not going to give you guys any spoilers because I, I feel like you guys should check it out yourself because it's really good. So there's these two best friends who try this weed from this slave, but then they get involved in the Civil War thinking it's about weed, the legalization of weed, and they want to stop this war from continuing, and the crazy hijinks ensues. When the show ended in 2011, the troops eventually split and they decided to pursue other things in their careers. Trevor Moore releases albums such as Drunk Text to Myself and High in Church and in 2019 eventually did his own show called The Trevor Moore Show on Comedy Central. Zach Kreger gets involved in sitcom shows such as Friends with Benefits, Guys with Kids, and Wrecked, a parody of Lost. Timmy Williams goes and announces for the radio station called KXLG, which is in South Dakota. And the other two guys, Sam Brown and Darren Trubiter, they do other things in their careers, but it's not really well known. That was until the return in 2020 when Trevor Moore released a short series of videos called the Trevor Moore Quarantine Show on the official WKUK YouTube channel. Then, shortly after, the five guys come together and start video chatting each other and we do Dungeons & Dragons games like Bakerson & Myers. Then, in September that same year, they started doing Twitch streams like Self Suck Saturday, Zucchini Boys, News Boys, and many more. You know, seeing these guys again in their Twitch streams, it was like, it just brought a big smile on my face. You know, hearing their voices, talking to each other, joking around. It just made me happy to see him and it was like it was like the good old days when I first watched them back in high school. And also, as of this recording, they are currently funding for this movie that they're working on right now called Mars. And as of right now, we have no idea when it's coming out, but I'm excited when the day it finally releases. Unfortunately, as some of you probably already know, on August 7th of last year, Trevor Moore died from blunt force head trauma when he fell from his upstairs balcony at his home. You know, when I first heard about that, I was like, there's no way he died. There's no way. But I started looking up his name more and stuff, and then, yeah, I wasn't saying he died. Even the mainstream media was talking about it. I was like, wow, really? Like, I was in shock. I was like, I mean, I've heard some crazy and unbelievable celebrity deaths, but I feel like Trevor Moore's kind of hit me the most. Now, I almost burst into tears, almost wanted to, but I was like, it was just so unbelievable and just shocking that he died. I mean, he was only 41. All the wise kids, especially Trevor, I feel like I've known these guys my entire life. I feel like I know who they are personally. And when Trevor Moore died, it was just really weird. It just felt so weird, like he's gone. Like one of the greatest underrated comedians of all time, gone. It's just, it feels like he left this world way too soon. Thankfully, according to all the wise kids, all of his lines from the movie Mars was recorded. So when that movie comes out, it will be his last movie. Which is weird, but... I do look forward to hearing his voice one last time. But it's also going to be sad too. Rest in peace, Trevor Moore. You are a comedian unlike any other, and you will truly never be forgotten. 
I know I feel like I'm making a life story out of the wise case you know, and I mean that's what it seems like, but that's basically who they are, but also what their show's about. And I really think that you guys should check their show out. I mean, me, this show put a big impression on me. Like, like when I, from when I first watched in high school, years after it finished, to now, I mean, it feels like the jokes get funnier. Like, every time I watch these sketches again, it just gets funnier and funnier and funnier. And I just enjoy these guys much more. And especially with their streams doing now, I mean, I'm... I'm enjoying these guys even more, and I believe that you guys should check them out. What did you guys think of this video? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, there's ways you can access these episodes. Either the first three seasons on DVD, because seasons four and five are not on DVD for some reason. Or, you can watch them on YouTube. You can watch full episodes on YouTube for free. I'm also going to put links of the two channels of the Wise Kids You Know, the official WKUK channel, as mentioned, and the official and the WKUK VODs channel, which contains all their streams. And I'm also going to put links to two of the sketches that I think you guys should watch, because in my personal opinion, they're, they are one of my favorites. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for awesome content. Thank you, guys. You have a great day. Ryan the Bomb out.